Good afternoon, Kay Johnsons. How are you? I am just great, Marie. It's a beautiful day here in Florida today. I know it. And for all of you uh, tuning in, I'm talking to Kay Johnsons, who is Development and Community Relations Director for the Delray Beach Public Library. But we're not going to talk about books today. We're going to talk about what's coming up in about a week, one of my favorite events, Laugh at the Library. So tell us all about it. Date, time, okay. all that stuff. We'll laugh with the library, chapter 15, because it's been going on for 15 years. It's going to be next Friday night, the 25th of February, at the beautifully new, renovated Opal Grand Oceanfront Resort and Spa right here in gorgeous Delray Beach. And we are coming back again for a night of fun comedy with a headline comic, dinner by the bite, and cocktails, cocktails, cocktails. What more could you want in Delray Beach? I know. I have to say, one of the things I love about this event is just the overall vibe. It's very community. It's very laid back. It's, it's like a big party. It really is. And I remember that cocktail hour. What excited? Yeah, you're right about the cocktails, cocktails, cocktails. They go on all night. But I just, why can't I get over the French fry bar? Do you remember that? They have one coming back, Marie. French the fries. French fry bar is coming back. So is the truffle mac and cheese. So are the premium sliders in three or four things. And this year, I think we're having a few other things. I think we're having a noodle bar and a few other fun things that are going on. So there's all the kind of, it's, it's all the food that you want to eat, but you shouldn't, plus all the things that you'd like to drink, but you shouldn't. And they're all in one night while you're just casually, just for a fun night in the town. And then you sit, get to sit down and laugh. And you know, Marie, your other two favorite things are coming back. The candy bar is sponsored by Morocco Orthodontics, which has all sorts of wonderful now pre-packaged and individually wrapped candies. No more scooping it out of the jar, not in these times. And we have Spodex Dental. It seems that all of the wonderful people that take care of our teeth are here, are doing Krispy Kreme boxes on every table. Oh God, Krispy Kreme donuts? Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh, God. A little Krispy Kreme. So while you're doing that, and then at the end of the night, our wonderful valet sponsor is bringing in Burger Fi as you leave. Oh, you're kidding me. So if you didn't get enough a cocktail hour with, you know, food station after, you know, one after another, station then after Burger station. Fi. We've got that. And we also have another fabulous underwriter this year, Florida Craft Distillers. So we are doing club trays on every sponsor table. So you will not only have the endless bars that you have, open bars, but you will have an alcohol bottle and a little, a little as we call it, our little COVID craft, where you will have the mixings to make a craft cocktail that we will have on there because you know you've got to read your ingredients and we've got little shot glasses we have everything you can mix either we're going to mix it all up we've got a rum we've got a tequila we've got a vodka we've got a gin and so you mix your little cocktail and you can also play with that and whatever's left over you can take home oh that sounds awesome that is so much fun i think we've covered like most of my basics candy bar french fries cocktails so oh, let's talk about the talent. Let's talk about the let's talk about the talent, but let's talk about the talent. So we are really excited. We have Pat McGann coming. And any of you who saw, because um, I know he's been touring with um, Sebastian Maniscalco, who is so popular right now, who came to one of the very first early laughs and now is feeling like Madison Square Garden in full arenas. He's such a hot comedian. Mm -hmm. And the great fun thing about Pat is Pat is a regular kind of middle-aged guy, former kind of bad boy, party boy, who is now married with two kids and is turned into a soccer dad. Doesn't he sound like the typical Boca Del Rey dad now? Yeah. You know? So he kind of does a lot of comedy just about his life and how his life has changed and his kind of everyday life. And he is flying down from Chicago and he's also super handsome. If you haven't seen this here with yeah, big yeah. blue eyes, super handsome and so not too bad to look at 
So that also gives you something if you're kind of chilling at your table to have a little fun, get a chance to mix up with your friends and mix up a drink while you're at it. It's funny. Uh, one of the uh, fears I have of going to comedy shows and comedy clubs is that I'm not going to think the person's funny and I'm going to get really embarrassed for them. But that's never happened to me at Laugh the Library. I leave that place and my mm -hmm. stomach hurts. My face hurts from laughing. You always get really great people, I have to say. I know. It's, well, we were we disappointed that, that our, our, our original comedian, who is James Austin Johnson, who is one of Saturday Night Live's newest cast member, was not able to make it because we moved our date a little bit later because of you know all the things that have been going on with the pandemic, just so that we're a little safer. And it's kind of worked in our favor because you know things are getting better. Things are getting better. They're much better than they were even just a few years ago, a few weeks ago. But you know, with now with Pat. Um, Pat's coming this year and James is going to come next year because Saturday Night Live also changed their schedule. So we're not able to have him. Right. But it won't matter because you never get anybody who doesn't just make your, you know, ribs crack. Um, tell me about the COVID protocol protocols. I think we touched on that last time. So it's You're a slight, keep it's the a, dining room open. Or? Yeah, the dining room's going to be open. So when you come in, right, rather than being kind of crowded in the cocktail area. We're opening the entire room up, which I think is really smart, and the ballroom out. So some people are a little more comfortable just going to their table. That's why we have the little drink tray where you can mix your drink and you know go up and get your food when it's not super crowded. Other people are just so excited to see their friends and want to kind of you know hang out with them and a different. So this way, everybody's not on top of each other. You know the servers are still going to be wearing masks. You know, it's a very big space and we've got about a hundred less guests this year. So we've also been very mindful in the fact that we don't want to have a full crowded room. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. So we got that kicked off too. How, tell me, how does this event support the library exactly? What is it? What are the, what does the money do for you all? Well, this year, you know, of course, you know, Laugh, you know, Laugh with this library supports the Delray Beach Public Library, which is one of two nonprofit, nonprofit libraries in the state of Florida. Um, so a large portion of our budget is raised with private fundraising. This is our largest fundraising event. Every year we put the focus on it for a couple different things. And this year we're really focusing on library materials. So the cost of library materials, like everything else have gone up. The cost of books has gone up. The cost of digital databases have gone up. Digital databases, some of them are based on usage. And you know, during COVID, all that online for movies, for books, for music has just really exploded. So the cost of just getting a subscription to something like the Wall Street Journal or the cost of a set of Encyclopedia Britannica or the cost of just children's books, which now can talk at you or you know, have different activities that have just escalated. So we are really using this as a chance to really refresh this and to really um, allow us to really upgrade a lot of our library materials. We're well-loved, well-worn because people do love libraries. We are busy. There are people in here every day our computers are full, circulation, you know, the, the word that books are dead is lot not true. A lot of people still really love hardcover books and want to take it home and want to touch that. Other people are just in love with reading digital books, are in love with podcasts, with everything, and it's all available here. That's great. And I think you're right. I mean, that whole nasty old rumor that, that print was dead is not true. I think that um, they've done studies, their reading and book sales and all of that have gone up in the last several years. And of course, my house is practically made of books, so I can relate. Well, you tell me, let's let's wrap this up and you tell everybody. I have one more books. really exciting thing to tell you about, Marie, which is the silent auction, which I know you've oh, never seen an auction basket that. that you haven't really liked. You know, this year we've concentrated on some really fun things. We have an amazing trip 
for a lot of you who have been dreaming about going on things, we've done a number of, we've got some trips down to the islands, but one of the things that's the most exciting is that we have a four night stay for 10 people at Chateau Gabby in Frontenac, France. So this is a beautiful historic house right in the vineyard. Chateau Gabby is a renowned French Bordeaux maker. They are going to have, you know, and Marie, you're going to cry because I know you're going to miss this. In there, we're going to be having a bottle of Chateau Gabby on every table that is a sponsor table. Maybe you'll be lucky and they'll bring it home to you. Mm -hmm. Of Chateau Gabby on every table, a red and a bottle of rosé. And we are auctioning off um, in our silent auction um, this four night stay for up to 10 people in a 10 bedroom house in the middle of wine country. So if you're planning a little special occasion or you've got a big birthday coming up and all that, and you don't have to be going to the event to be able to bid on the silent auction, if you, and maybe Marie, you can stick this down in the bottom. If you email Scott Lozier on staff and I will send you his email, we will give anybody access to go on the silent auction. And we've got trips to ski country trips. We have a Kentucky bourbon trip. We've got a beautiful necklace from private jewelers. We have John Mayer floor seats. For those of you who want a little eye candy down in Miami for John Mayer singing some love songs to you. And we've got all sorts of other baskets and we've got Botox, Botox, Botox. So, you know. <laughs> well, that'll probably just fly right off, you know. You'll probably make a gazillion on the Botox alone. That's so funny. Well, so we've fun. really, we've really kind of upped that up, and it's all a virtual auction. So it's all bidding that's done right off of a phone app that you're going to have when you get your registration. So I want to tell you and your readers to reach out to us and get access to our auction, and you might find something really fun while supporting the library. And how do people get tickets at this point? You just go to our website, delraylibrary.org. You click on Laugh with the Library, which is right under events, and tickets are $400. They're still available. They'll be available up until next Thursday. Okay, very good. And can they access the auction that way as well? For access the auction, there'll be a little link on there that'll tell them where to go, and we will send them a link on how to get onto the auction. Perfect. The well, auction opens to the public next Tuesday. Awesome. Okay. So is there anything else you want to add before we sign off and get our- No, other than, you know, events like this are only possible when we have wonderful sponsors. And one of our wonderful sponsors this year was Boca Magazine and Delray Magazine. And we thank you, Marie, for your constant support of not only us, but the rest of the other nonprofits in the community. I mean- Books and magazines are not dead. They're important to read. They're important to learn what's going on. And we so appreciate it. Well, thank you. I couldn't have said it better myself. Kay Johnsons, I hope I'll see you next Friday night. Not sure I can make it, but if I do, you'll be the first person I check in with and have a wonderful event. Have a wonderful, have a wonderful uh, weekend. Okay, take care. Thank you, Kay.